Hello again. What a chance meeting this is. Alas, I'm imprisoned once again. I don't suppose you could stage me a getaway? The archives. Such a storehouse of knowledge. So close, but just out of reach. The thought offends me so I could simply die. As a student of the arts, you understand me, yeah? Oh, thank you very much. I'm saved. That makes twice. I must be sure to repay you. I will visit the archives. If I discover any new spells, I shall share them with you. Prepare to be impressed by the onward march of sorcery. Hello. Don't mind me. Go on ahead. I'll head out soon. I wish to lay down my plans before I visit the archives. Hello there. I was expecting you. This place is truly magnificent. More than expected, even. As promised, I shall share the new sorceries with you. And the secret of Seath's immortality. Ah. The secret of Seath's immortality. If you have fought him and were in prison, you must know that Seath is a true undead. Different from ourselves. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. It is an effect of the primordial crystal, a sacred treasure pillaged by Seath when he turned upon the ancient dragons. So only by destroying the primordial crystal can you so much as scratch his hide. And it so happens, the primordial crystal is in the inner garden of these very archives, the crystal forest. The tomes stored in these archives are truly magnificent, a great pool of knowledge, the fruits of superior wisdom and an unquenchable desire for the truth. Some would say Seath had an unsound fixation in but his work is a beautiful, invaluable resource. All progress demands sacrifice, and I certainly bear no antipathy for that wonderful, scaleless beast. Hello there. You really are very intelligent. Oh, I understand. We are in the midst of a revolution. 